Hello. What, what is that? It's the beginnings of a butterfly. It's, it's a or little, a moth. It's a little creepy looking. <laughs> so, lace are with the wings. As we film, it's April 2017. Yes. And we're making a mini tutorial in conjunction with the Fiber Fairy giveaway, which is April 14th. Yes. So if it's past April 14th, 2017, you're going to enjoy what you learned from the tutorial, but not be a part of the giveaway. So we're really, really excited. Um, this is a big, um, a big day and this is a fun tutorial. We've got a new product that we are excited to share and it's called Tacky Wrap. Ooh. Doesn't that sound exciting? Crinkle, crinkle. Like, is it a candy bar? <laughs> <laughs> and it, um, right now, the plan is for it to come two ways. One is as tacky wrap sticks, um, pun intended, because it's a sticky wire. And the other is as a tacky wrap sticky bun, which looks like this. That is, that is the product. Don't, don't eat it. Don't eat Don't it. Don't be fooled by the sticky <laughs> bun. <laughs> and bun is also a pun because um, we love bunnies. And that is our logo. <laughs> and we're punny. <laughs> so I'll just get started. Um, I'm going to show the, I'm going to show this process. I'm going to talk about a couple of wing and antenna ideas. There's so much that can be done here. This is, uh, this project is a little bit fussy for me. I'm not a, I'm not a tiny detail person. Um, I love this one. This is a moth. So that was fun. And then this was actually the first one that I made and it doesn't have any wire. It's a little large. I think I got a little smaller since then. And then this one um, has some wire in the wing. So the wings can be, you know, can stay where you put them. And that's what I'm going to show you. And these are needle felted. Um, you could, you could wet felt the wings, which might give it, you know, that thinner, smoother look. That, that would be pretty. Yeah. And maybe when you wet felt, you would hear the sink making bubble noises <laughs> like you might hear. So the first thing I'm going to do is take the tacky, um, tacky wrap stick. That's 32 gauge. And I'm going to cut it into three inch pieces. And moths and butterflies have six legs. So this will do it this way. This will make two. And we're going to wrap three of these. I'm going to use, um, I'm going to use natural black. It's long and thin and it um, it has a longer staple, so it's real easy to do these these nice skinny wraps. And the tacky wrap is tacky; it's sticky. So all I have to do is start my wool at one end, and it will just stick there. Especially if I can get it wrapped around there. So super thin. The thinner you can make this, the better. Um, we're experimenting with a dark wire and a dark tacky wrap um, so that when you are doing these dark colors, it just blends seamlessly, but um, we don't have that yet. And what I've been doing is just using a tiny bit of black swax on the tip. You can, usually I fold the ends of my wire over um, so that it's not pointy, but these are so small that I I'm not going to do that. I'm just going to let it, I'm just going to let it stay straight. And then also that little bit of swax helps sort of blunt that end a little bit. If someone got poked, they would just think maybe they got stung. Yeah. Or bit. Yeah. I have some butterfly facts. Really? I would like to hear. Butterflies taste with their feet. Oh, interesting. They don't taste with that little proboscis. I don't see anything on my paper. <laughs> <Not yet. laughs> That's interesting. I 
They also can't hear. Oh, but well, they, I'm not surprised. They feel that. vibrations. So they know when the trash truck's coming. Yes. Or dogs. Barking. Just like yes. <laughs> So with the 32 gauge tacky wrap, you can get very, and if it's not quite sticky enough, you can take the, um, the disc, that wasn't a pretty one, that was like a prototype that we had, and just wax it a little bit. Now this, unlike Swax, here's the difference, this stays tacky. It does not dry smooth. Um, I would not put it on top of wax. I mean of wool. Unless you want it sticky. Unless you want it sticky. Can't think of why <laughs> you would want it sticky. It's a little tough to get this end where you're starting. Just because it's fuzzy there. Might have to get out my scissors and trim it down a little bit. Can do a little bit of a wrap and a roll with this. I find when I roll towards me, I have a harder time like drafting and keeping it thin, which is why I usually end up wrapping. But you could roll like this. Marsha brought in these specimens. Can you Ooh. see them right now? Are they on there right now? Uh, yes. Why did the camera just make it? Noise? It didn't. <laughs> Is my phone oh. has not turned off, even though I asked you if your phone was turned off. Okay. Once you have those, well, we can go ahead and do the ends in this wax before um, before we build the armature. And I'm just touching the end into the melted black wax because. Like this guy, it doesn't take much before you get a club foot. Um, so it's just a tiny, tiny bit. And then you just tack, you know, use your fingers to press it down. I gotta trim off this little fuzziness here. So you're dipping both ends. Both ends. This is each, each, um, each wire is a two feet. So you're not even using the color shaper, you are just dipping. I'm just dipping. touching it in there. So see, this one's a little chunky. It's not bad, not too bad. So it looks like it's wanting to stick to you. You have to let it cool. Yeah, I'm rushing a little bit. Whoop. I know, my. I know. <laughs> yeah, if it sticks to you, just wait a second. It'll, it'll stop. He barked so much he hit his own head. <laughs> Get on the shelf. Oh it's not God. funny. Okay. Then you're going to take half of a pipe cleaner. I like this short, um, short pipe cleaner. And find, find the center. So that's three inches also. It's a whole pipe cleaner is 12. Cut it in half at six and fold it and it's three. And then instead of doing any wrapping of, you know, normally with large armatures, I like all the wires to be integrated. This is such a small project and to keep it from getting bulky, um, I'm just going to wrap the um, the wires together with wool. So the first one is just putting that first, make sure it's centered, first legs together right there on the center. Just keep, go around that. I'm using black core because it felt really well. And then the second one, what's going to happen is this pipe cleaner is going to make 
the um oh marcia would know all the fancy terms oh yes um the and i knew it thorax <laughs> the front part <laughs> which is yeah this is the body basically that's where all the legs and the wings come from my goodness we're bustling here today so then the next one you're gonna lay on top and do a little crisscross to hold it on so i go across um across the body from in front of one leg to behind the other leg. And if you keep Xing like that a few times, it will hold that on. And then we do it, stab that a bit. Then we do it with the third piece. So you're putting it on top, does it matter top, bottom? Um, you, I'm putting it on top to work, but their legs do kind of come out from the bottom so once we have this all situated here, we can flip it over. Oh, yes. It's just easier to make the X when you're looking at the bottom. I, I didn't see that as a possibility because that's how my brain works. Yeah. <laughs> so then you can flip it over and then the legs are a little bit more oriented towards the bottom. And then whatever this is called, <laughs> this long part. Do we need to open Google so we look like we know what we're talking okay, about? Okay, let's here. let's because we are not entomologists, we're needle felters. And I do fold the ends because the pipe cleaner is quite pointy. This is my coffee that I'm taking a sip of. I just looked up and butterfly parts. <laughs> <laughs> And then wrap this with black. Head, thorax. You're on it. And abdomen. Oh, interesting. So this long taily looking thing is the abdomen? Yes. That's weird. Yes. Hmm. And, you know, depending on what you're making, this will be fatter or thinner. Moths have a larger abdomen in general as I'm looking at pictures and in real um, life in real life okay for the wings I'm gonna wire there's just the front part of the wing and I'm gonna use half of a 26 gauge so the tacky wrap sticks these um, come with 12 32 gauge I think I'm getting this right and 10 26 gauge I'm pretty I, sure oh okay so each packet has both gauges and I'd like to get a layer of wool on this and so that it looks like this that way no matter what kind of wing I make I have some wool um, to felt into so I'm going to use the um, the natural black and rather than trying to go from one end to the other I'm going to start in the middle and go to an end and then do the same. This can be a little bit thicker. It doesn't have to be quite so um, thin as the legs. We were really trying to get those nice and dainty. And this you can wrap to the end and then fold that, um, fold that end over. Proboscis, however you say that, that is how it eats. Okay. It drinks through that. Yes, that's what it but puts into the... But apparently it also the... tastes with its feet. Wow. <laughs> yeah, that's weird. Amazing. Animals are so amazing. We watched a good show called Tribes, Animals, and Me. There's a wildlife photographer who went to sort of the far reaches of Earth to find um, tribes who still, you know, hunt and are very close to the habitat around them, and it was it was incredible. Sounds like a learning. It is. It is really good. Which uh, what channel? I want to say I can't remember if it was Netflix. 
And the guy's, did I already say he's a wildlife photographer? Um, okay, so I've got this covered in wool. I can smooth it out with my palms a little bit. And then we're going to put this on as we do um, antlers and stuff. Antlers and stuff. So the feet are pointing down. And I'm going to start on top. Let me find the center. Feet are pointing down. I'm going to go between the front and second set of legs. I don't know technically exactly, but that when I look at the specimen, this looks to me to be where the wings are coming out. And all I'm going to do is cross underneath, um, keeping the center centered, and pull these up. So I didn't twist it or anything. I just went down on the top, down from the top, and then um, crossed underneath. And then I'll wrap this with some black core to keep it, do the X to keep it secure. These are fussy. <laughs> they are fussy. Tiny is fussy. Working small is uh, is impressive. Shout out to Lucy Pendrick who um, makes beautiful tiny bees. You're almost flying off the bottom of the... Oh, sorry. That's okay. Okay. Stab that. Actually, I'm going to wrap it from a little bit from this direction, too. Yeah, I don't, um, I'm going to be honest with you. <laughs> the hummingbird is about as small as you like to work. I like to work. I mean, no, that's not true. I like making sleepy mice, but sleepy mice don't have a million color changes and you know antenna and antenna wings and, and legs yeah yeah okay they have a little head and i found the way to make that is to do a double decker taco a tiny double decker taco out of black core so i've got a little half inch you know by one and a half inch strip. And I'm gonna fold that in half and felt a little quarter inch area and then fold it back again, leaving the fringe. And then I wanna kind of shape this into a little, I'm bringing those edges in and making it a little rounder, more like a little ghost shape. And then I'll use the fringe to attach the head to the body. Grabbing a single needle, so because there's a lot of wire in here now, so I really want to target where I strike. And then you can kind of shape the head, bends down a little bit. I just pumped the camera. So then it's a matter of kind of shaping. So we could make a proboscis. <laughs> Am I saying that right? I want to say biscus, but that's like a Hibiscus. plant. <laughs> <clears throat> and um, the wire, uh, you could do it out of wire. Same with the antenna. Um, but the other thing that you can do is take, oh, that's not good. That is not good. <laughs> we can insert. We're, we're back. <laughs> so we had a little accident <laughs> and the swax fell on the floor and Kyla um, went to clean it up and her hair dipped into it. <laughs> and Kyla has fine light hair. And what we learned, this is a public <laughs> service announcement, this is what I wash my hair with. Ren Pure Cleansing Conditioner gets out swax with very hot water. That is what we learned. And now all is right with the world. 
and has it died? Well, not everything's wrong with the world, <laughs> but we can at least continue our tutorial. I think it's pretty much it. It might not even be dyed. Yeah. Here, stick your it's stick that in the camera. Right. <sighs> yeah, it's out. It's out. It, it was very swaxy. It was. Okay. It's always an adventure I'm here. So, I sort of lost my train of thought. <laughs> How? You were um, talking about oh, antenna, oh, oh, and, and you were going to make antenna. Proboscis. Oh, sorry. Yeah. Not the antenna. So I'm going to stretch out um, a piece of wool and roll it in my hands. And my hands are actually still a tiny bit wet from washing the <laughs> hair, which is helpful. And then I'm going to take the tacky wrap and just run the thread through it. And it's like waxing a mustache. And then I'll roll it again. Yeah, and then I can, you know, I can put more wax on it if it needs it. I can shorten it, but I'm leaving a little bit of it fuzzy so that I can attach it to the head. But that gives you a nice thin sure does antenna or proboscis and then just felt the fringe on there and I'll do that for the antenna as well all right now to make to make this one that has the wire I laid out like an ombre of browns and tried to felt the wing shape and then I ended up um, and then I folded it over the wire and felt you know folded the fringe over felted that down and then I ended up cutting it so I'm gonna try something a little bit different today um, on this one I'm gonna try the fiber fairies wings and the humming well not the hummingbird wings I'm trying to think what else um, is just fiber folded over the wire and then I'm going to felt it and then I'm going to cut it into shape. So it's not going to be as detailed. It's going to be a little bit more free form. <laughs> all, my, all my wool is all over, the, all over the floor. So this is um, a Maori bat. This is part of the fiber fairy giveaway not something that we usually have but we we often have uh, and we know we have a lot of core wool colors so I'm gonna um, lay this out just to give it the core wool just gives it some structure this bat is very crisscrossy um, so it's gonna flat felt well and I'm gonna go ahead and lay out two sets of wings at the same time so that I can keep it consistent then towards the top edge, I'm going to lay, um, this is blue raspberry. And I'm just letting the fringe go towards the center. And then at the bottom edge, I'm going to put some of these lime colored locks. And I think I'm going to, oh, they're long. Hmm, maybe I'll do, no, I'll go ahead and integrate them. So I'm just going to tease out the cut end a little bit and lay those on. I'm glad that I'm filming something that I've never done before. <laughs> um, just the, the whole, you know, polka dots and stripes and everything um, would take um, a long, long time. And that's... It's still something you can do, it's just, I'm just trying to speed up the process a little bit. So I'm gonna let all these hang off. Gosh, these are long. I wonder if this is less or long wool. And then, more. 
Do you know what the moth social event of the year is? I don't. The mothball. <laughs> That's funny. Have you ever been to a ball? Or a gala, perhaps? Uh, recently, yes. Yeah? I went to that Teacher of the Year gala. Oh. It was more of a banquet. There was no dancing. Oh. This is kiwi. I'm letting this cover up the lock edges. It looks like a big fluffy mess right now. I really, I should try more with the wet felting because I think that would. Yeah, they can be very pretty. Yeah, and then I'm going to combine the kiwi and the blue raspberry and bring it all together. Keeping it thin. I'm trying to be thin but consistent. So let me move one of these over. Be careful of my... I don't know about this. I don't know what's going to happen. I need a punch tool. So I'm keeping in mind as I'm looking at this, this kind of width. So this is a little wide. So I'm just going to get rid of some of this. Squeeze these down a little bit. If there's no actual butterfly that looks like that, there should be. Thank you. So then you just felt the heck out of it, whether you laid it out more precisely or you're going with this, this look. I feel like I want a little bit more blue raspberry to show there. You know what the biggest moth in the world is? No. The, uh, no. It, is it a joke? It is a joke. <laughs> <laughs> no, I don't. It, it's a mammoth. <laughs> These are pretty colors. I didn't know the wings of butterflies were scales. Technically they're scales, they're like in the scales. in the animal world. Millions of shingle-like overlapping scales give butterfly wings their color. They can fly if the scales are removed, they're just less colorful. Huh. One thing about making these too with a lot of detail is um the the you if you fill it from the top you can get it quite detailed on top um but they always look a little polluted on the bottom Under. yeah so that's a that's a tricky thing too and if you are going to go for lots of you know lines you can use the same technique of twisting this and and tacky wrapping it um to give it a little bit of definition before you felt it on. So you don't have to felt as much. Right, right. So it's already in a nice little thin line. Okay, we're gonna call this um, felted enough. And then, I don't know, I'm just trying to like decide what's what here. I think what I'll do is fold that over like that Oh, that's kind of cool looking. I need to take, I should have thought a little bit more about this. I need to take some of this out in the center so that I can, because their wings come right back to the thorax. They don't, you know, they don't go down the whole body. So I need to take a little bit of that out so that I can um, pinch that together. So I didn't totally um, plan my my wing very well here. There we go. Mm 
and I could further like I could make this into I could just go ahead and cut that and make it look more like two you know two wings the way that they have but for now I'm going to just get it on here first so I'm going to line this up with this edge fold that over nice and tightly and felt that I can't believe we got that swax out of your hair. <laughs> I was like, oh no, I'm going to have to cut it. It had to be black swax and I'm pretty blonde. And it, it's a little tacky. Yeah. Oh, this is huge. I learned from my, if I were filming, I would probably, I would try to take this down. Actually, let me just go ahead and do it. I'm going to do it anyway. I'm going to undo that. This is good. I like yeah. it. Oh, showing yeah, when I mess up. I know. So I'm going to take this down a little bit. <laughs> I know. She says. <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> <laughs> I know. Um, first, I'm going to, you could do this with a seam ripper, but mine's not sitting here, so. Rather than just cut a blunt edge, you kind of loosen it up. A little troubleshooting on your yes. butterfly video. People yes. are like, dang, I just laid that all out. Not the people who watched it through <laughs> first. <laughs> there. Now uh, it's a little bit more manageable wing wingspan. And right along this front edge, I just need a little bit more wool, but the rest of it's fine. So forgiving this medium. Okay, now I'm back here. I'm going to fold this over. There, now it's a little bit more under control. Can you take a guess, take a stab at how many species of butterfly there are in the world? Oh my gosh. I would think thousands, but maybe I'm exaggerating. 24,000. Wow. That's incredible. So this isn't bad. And if you, if you, <laughs> you're like, yes it is. If you didn't have locks that you didn't want to cut, um, you could actually really shape this. I think that might be the way to go. Like lay it out, especially if you're not putting locks on it. Um, this one I put like one, you know, one long lock at the end. But lay it out, felt it on, and then shape your wings. And like I said, you can even make it into two. So the rest of this needs to come, get rid of the extra, it needs to felt into um, the thorax. So you're, you're, you're kind of messing up your nice black body here for a second. And then after you get both wings on, then you put more black over, over the top. Let me do the second wing. Let me do the second wing and see if I can get it laid out a little bit better before I actually put it on. That's kind of pretty. It is pretty. Okay. So what I had was um, too long. So what I'm going to do is kind of shift this down. Pull some of this off. Now the trick is going to be getting it to look the same as the other one with all this fussing I'm doing. I had too much in the middle, so I'm going to take some of that out. Bring it together a little bit more. And I think I need just some blue raspberry on the top here. <laughs> that is, yes. Again. Finley's 
making an appearance today. Everybody's got something to say. <laughs> I'm cracking myself up. I feel like the, the tacky wrap and the, you know, the legs and the armatures and stuff is where my strength is in this, in this whole tutorial. I feel like people are gonna, are gonna outdo me and blow me away with their wings, uh, with their wing structure. We will learn who Which is the detail-oriented people are. Power to the felting people. Yes. Because... You're like, slap a wing on and <laughs> let it fly. Oh my, <laughs> okay. Alright, okay. I got it, I got it. So pretty. It is! <laughs> the colors are really. <laughs> Thank you. I think I'm dripping with sarcasm. <laughs> um, butterflies are the second largest group of pollinators. Yes. Next to bees, I prefer the butterfly yes. to the bee. Yes, we um, we looked into donating to um, it was a weird name. What was it called? Re I don't remember. Oh shoot, Sarah. Uh, all right, I'll find out. But it's a bee and butterfly benefit. All right, I got one wing a little bigger than the other wing. No one will know. No one will know. Okay, now I want to put my black back on top. Um, some of them have really pretty colors on here, so like I could wrap um, some blue raspberry or make spots. If I were fussy, I would make spots, but I'm not. Xerxes. Xerxes, that's right. It's X E R C E S. Yes. And um, it's an organization, uh, a nonprofit organization that promotes the understanding and care of pollinators, mainly butterflies and bees. They probably have a mission statement that's more eloquent than what I just said, but so I can check under here and make sure it's not too fuzzy. And then with this wire, it really is enough to keep the wing where you want it. And then these little legs, you're going to give it that butterfly insecty shape. If you don't know what it is. Look it up. Bend, bend, <laughs> bend, bend. It's a knee and an ankle. Yeah. And then I can do a um, little antenna. I mean, I, I'll probably mess with these wings a little bit more. Just felt them a little smoother. I could put a few lines in them. Let's do some little antenna. So same thing as the way we did the proboscis. I also have to look up how to say that. I learn stuff every time we do this. Yep. Oh, I like it. This this is a good product. This is um, changing the way I'm making fingers. Um, and hands so we will stay tuned we're gonna once we have this product all sorted out in terms of availability and colors and everything um, we're gonna make a tutorial about it an infomercial basically we should do it in infomercial style we should but wait but wait <laughs> 
Uh, proboscis. The oh. SC is oh. like the C is silent. Oh, jeez. I'm always. All right. Look, let's just make that one an antenna and go. <laughs> okay. So I bet I could even wrap this around the pencil and give it that little curl. curl. Mm -hmm. Um, do they have eyes? Oh, the moth has pretty good eye there. Oh, that's so tiny. I'm not going to get into eyes. See, I just can't. just can't go there. Somebody will. Somebody will. Post it on Fanfare. Oh, we see want to how see how tiny and detailed your butterfly can be. Because mine not. Uh oh, one antenna is narrower than the other. I think that's okay. This is the occasion where you could put this, I said not to put it on top of wool, but when you're doing these little tiny. Ooh, ooh. We really have the top of Sarah's I'm sorry. Head. It's oh, okay. Cut that out. Nobody wants to see the back of my head. You can see your little hair clip. Mm -hmm. I told you I was going to have to leave. I know. All right, I'll fuss with that some more. But... Do, do, do. We put these on. Yeah, that needs a lot more felting. We put these on little wires so that they could hang oh, nice. and float around. Fishing, yeah. fishing, fishing line. line. Yeah, yeah. So I hope... Um, you enjoy this tutorial and tacky wrap. Um, it's really helpful on anything that needs to be super skinny is basically yeah. the idea behind it. Um, we even tried putting it on aluminum wire and foregoing um, pipe, cleaner. pipe cleaner and it seemed to work. So cool. stay tuned, yeah. Yes. Okay, we forgot. I wanted to show you the um, little fuzzy antenna, which I just, I meant to do. And I also should show, so what you would do is you would put, just like we put the legs on, you would put a fourth set and then you could actually build the head around it a little bit. But I just wrapped the tacky wrap wire, the, um, actually I think I ended up doing 26, but I would use the um, 32. <laughs> We're a little slapdash here today. And then you're gonna lay out top coat after you've wrapped it like that. And like that and then just felt it onto this to each other to itself but also onto this tacky wrapped wire oh, we forgot to close the door <laughs> I'm going to put it a little bit, a little bit thick. And then once it's starting to stick to itself, then you can cut it into a little fuzzy moth antenna shape. Like that. And also on the moth, you know, I didn't do this so much on the butterfly, but on the moth, he's got a lot more fuzz going on. And that's just teeny tiny little fur, you know, same way we attach the fur on, um, let's see, let me do one on here. So you would put this down, you would, Stab the center, like really root the center of it. You could put a tiny piece of wool 
to hold, help hold that center down and then lift it up and then cut it to the length that you want it to be and that gives you that that kind of furry look that this moth has. <laughs>